jacket or something to keep you warm. It's cold outside. It's true. While I'm here with exposed arms, right? <laughs> so I feel like a little bit of a weather hypocrite right now, but inside it's fine. It's just when you step outside, right? That's when it gets cold. A real shock to the system, especially early in the morning. Love the view of the city right now. This is our Birmingham Tower Cam. You can see those twinkling lights. Beautiful city shot right now. 51 degrees, not that bad in Birmingham, but it's much colder in other spots like just up the road. Asheville's at 39, Talladega dipping into the upper 30s there. A pair of fours from Alabaster down towards Clanton. Same with Tuscaloosa at this hour. And as we move through the night hour by hour, most everyone will be in those lower 40s just after midnight, slipping into the 30s by early tomorrow morning. Sky condition brought to you by the word clear. That's exactly how we're going to stay through your Thursday. Tomorrow morning, some of the colder spots though are really going to be north of I-20. Hamilton at 37, 35 in Fayette, closer to 40 from Tuscaloosa to Northport. Sunshine will abound tomorrow yet again, and temperatures actually warming. I think West Alabama will actually be our warmer locales from 66 in Hamilton, same with Tuscaloosa. For tonight along I-65, notice the numbers getting down to 33 in Asheville makes sense, right? They're already in the 30s right now. 35 in Pell City with upper 30s tomorrow morning in Birmingham. Again, you'll need the code as you head outside tomorrow morning, especially little ones who may be spending any extra time outside waiting for a bus early on in the day. But it's layers kind of weather because by the afternoon, close to 70, especially in Jasper, mid 60s from Birmingham to Clanton and then East Alabama in the lower 60s. Tomorrow morning, East Alabama, low to mid 30s. We could see some spots closer to the freezing mark like Gadsden at 32, Oxford at 34. But with a sunny afternoon, you won't even know that it was freezing by the afternoon because we'll be in the low 60s. It will be fabulous outside tomorrow. Not only is tomorrow going to be nice, but we're going to see a slow warming trend as we move into the weekend. 70s by your Saturday and Sunday. But notice that little drop in temperatures on Monday. Well, that's because of a little cold front that moves in. Brings us a small chance of rain early next week. All right, let's talk football as we fast forward to this weekend. Kickoff temperatures for the Alabama-Kentucky game in the 70s. Slipping into the 60s by the final whistle. I would say for mid-November, not a bad way to spend a football forecast, though. A little cooler in Auburn, though. They'll be hosting the Tennessee Volunteers because of the later game, 6 p.m., 58 for that kickoff, falling into the mid-50s by the final whistle. So I would say a long sleeve kind of a day there. Dry through the weekend. I'm tracking a cold front. That moves in Monday, provides us a few drops of rain Monday. I've kept the rain chances pretty small. Coverage will be limited Monday. Could see better coverage on Tuesday. Then we dry out Wednesday. And then as we move into your Thanksgiving holiday, I'm calling for sunshine for your turkey day. Temperatures will be in the upper 60s there. As we move ahead just for the rest of this week into the weekend, though, we're tracking that warm up again, monitoring some rain early next week, but I think it clears out in time for your holiday. And that's a look at your storm team seven day forecast.